welcome back now in this video let's say if Oli there's a current user who is online for now in my case I'm currently online by the Ali account okay guys just remember that so let's say if that Ali wants to contact another user then what I'll do first let me just open the other user profile so we will go right in there and just scroll down in here as you guys know we are currently online by the Ali account okay so we will not open that we will go with the other user Tony Stark I'll go with this one so click upon in here and it will take you right in here right to the Tony Stark profile so you guys already know we are currently online by the Ali account so so if Ali wants to contact that other user whose name is Tony Stark then what I'll do right down in here in this card in here and in here and in here I'll show a whatsapp icon right in the circle in here and also the mail icon right in the circle in here and and the last one that we will implement simply for the cell phone okay so in here there will be an icon and it's going to be right in the circle so then if the early user wants to contact that Tony Stark then he can simply click upon the whatsapp icon mail icon and cell phone icon it will simply launch a URL and will get him there let's say if Ali click upon the whatsapp icon it will send the Ali right to the whatsapp and so on for the email and also for the cell phone okay if he click upon that so right in this video we will work on that like I said already it's gonna be right in a circle okay so for showing the icon like for example the whatsapp email and cell phone number is going to be right in the circle so for that first we will implement a design so let's go and start working on that above the widget build widget build there we go now down in here we will create a method okay so in here we will say widget because the return type will be widget so in here now we will name this as a contact by now right in there it's going to tag first in here curly braces okay and right after outside in here curly braces and tag this down now right in those curly braces what I'll do is going to simply tag we will say required and the first one that will tag is going to be simply that we will create for color so color in here and comma now we will say required so in here we will say function put n in here and there we go okay now we will say fct short name and the last one that it will tag it's going to be simply for the icon so in here we will say icon data and then we will say icon as you guys can see in here so the first one it's color then we take the click even app ct and right at end it's going to take the icon now we will jump right inside those curly braces so in here like i said the return type will be widget so in here we will say return and we will have a circle avatar because right in the circle we will show the whatsapp icon also the email and the last one going to be for the cell phone number so in here that's why we have that widget circle avatar now in here semicolon and tag this down so first we will set the background color so in here we will say color okay we will receive and use it in here now we will provide the radius let's set it to 25 and now we will have a child right in the child we will have a circle avatar okay so right in there you will set the radius to 23 and let's set the background color for that so colors we will go with a white one and child again now let's show the icon so in here we will say icon button there we go with the suggestion okay now parentheses and right in there we will say icon so let's have that icon in here simply we will receive that icon in here and we will show it right in this 
design scroll it down and below this icon I'll set the color now so in here we will receive the color and show it right in here okay as you guys can see right in here color FCT and icon now we are left with the click event FCT so what I'll do below this icon we will have a on press event there you go click event and in there just call off on the FCT there we go okay now we are done with the contact by as you guys can see right in here okay guys so that's fine and the next thing that we will do we will simply create a method as I told you already for launching the URL like for example the URL for WhatsApp URL for mail and the last one URL gonna be for the cell phone number so the methods that we are about to create in there we will simply launch the URL and gonna implement the code for that so let's go and do that above the widget build right in here the first one that we will create is gonna be simply for the whatsapp okay so we will say wide and it's gonna be private so there go with underscore now we will name this as a open whatsapp chat and this will be asynchronous so in here async as you guys can see curly braces and tag this down now in here we will create a variable by the name url in which we will assign now the url okay so in here what i'll say and guys make sure to write it in a proper manner i'm about to write and just write it like that so in here i'll say http okay as now colon in here and we will go with the slash double slash okay then we will say w a dot and we will go with the me me and then we will go again with the slash and then we will go with a dollar sign and now in here we will say phone number okay so there's a string type variable that we just get the phone number of a user and we just assign that phone number right in the string type variable phone number okay so just don't get confused in that I have already explained this in detail right in the previous videos I hope you can get the idea now so in here now we will say question mark and we will say text we will equal that and we'll say hello world write it and semicolon so there's gonna be the URL okay the it will launch a URL for whatsapp okay as you guys can see the method name right in here so we just assign that right in this variable URL now what I'll do I'll simply say launch URL string as you guys can see the suggestion right at top so now we will provide the URL string so in here simply we'll say URL okay and write it and semicolon so this method gonna launch a URL string right for the whatsapp and it will just get the user right to the whatsapp so we are done with that now let's move further now we will create for the mal okay so in here above the widget we will say white and gonna make this private so in here underscore now we will say mal2 gonna name this as a mal2 okay because this is gonna be simply for the mal so this is gonna be asynchronous in here parenthesis in here async and calibrate right in here take this down now we will create a URI so in here we will say final and then we will say URI I have already explained this URI in detail right in the previous video so there is no need of explaining it again it's just a first URI such as a URL and I have already explained this in detail so let's move further now now we will name this as a paramas like I did before parameter 
short name now in this parameters what we will assign we will simply assign URI okay in here semicolon and tag this down now write in this URI we will provide this key so it's gonna be as you guys know like we did before so this is gonna be simply for the mail too okay and write at end comma now we will provide the path the path is gonna be simply email okay there is a string type variable in which we just assign the email of a user that we just get from the firebase firestore and we assign that email right to the string type variable email and I have already explained this in detail okay so just don't get confused in that and I hope you can get the idea now now let's move further in here comma and now we will provide the query so guys look out for the format make it in a proper way so in here comma now right inside that string what I'll say subject and we'll equal that to we'll say write subject here put comma and then we'll say please and sign and then we'll say body and we will simply equal that to hello okay comma now we will say again please and we will say write detail let me move it to the right side so that you guys can see it easily right afterwards we will say here there is fine right in here okay so there is a format I'm gonna show you again so that is gonna be our query okay now down in here we will create a URL so in here I'll say final and let's have that URL now we will just assign that parameters in which we assign that URI okay all of that work right in that parameters parameters so now in this URL I'll just assign that parameters okay so in here what I'll say parameters and we're gonna convert this right to string so in here we'll say to string and semicolon now right afterwards I'll say launch URL string and now we will provide the URL string and it's gonna be that URL in which we just assign that okay so in here URL and there we go at it and semicolon so we are done with the method mail to this is gonna simply whenever the user will click upon the mail icon right in here it will launch a URL and will get the user right to the mail so I hope you can get the idea now and let's move further now above the widget build we will also create a method for the cell phone number okay so in here for a time saving I'll just copy that method open whatsapp chat copy that from here to here copy it and simply come down above the widget build right in here paste it now we will just move this little back like that okay and gonna name this as a as you guys know already this is gonna be simply for the cell phone number so I'll name this as a call phone number that is gonna be the method name and it's private this is gonna be asynchronous so in here async and now as you guys can see that URL we will just change that in here okay remove that and we will say tell colon we'll go with a double slash and then dollar sign in here now we will have the phone number string type variable so right in the string type variable we already get the phone number of a user right from the firebase firestore as you guys know already now that's fine so we just assign that right in this URL and in here we just launch it okay so we are done with all of the methods as you guys can see right in here like for example open whatsapp chat mail to and call phone number and the other one it was simply the design contact by as you guys can see right in here in which we will show the icon for the whatsapp mail to and uh, cell phone number 
so there is your design and basically this video is getting a little lengthy so what I'll do and we have already completed the methods so right from the next video we will work further and we will show the icon right in the circle for the WhatsApp for the mail to and the end one was cell phone number okay so we will work upon that and simply whenever we will be done with that and we will test the app and you guys will get the idea more clearly so that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see ya